subscribe for my channel Amol Ujagre and hit the bell icon for latest update. Hello, few days back, one of my students raised few questions. Uh, those were asked to him in one of the interview. So there were actually basically three questions. So one, what is data provider or what is the purpose of this at the rate data provider? Then how do we explain the page object model and what is hybrid model? He just wanted to know how to explain this in the interview. Okay. So probably you might have uh, gone through the whole Selenium course content or uh, you, uh, you, you must be very good in coding. So how do we explain this in an interview? So that we are going to discuss. So the first question is what is data provider and what is the significance of at the rate data provider okay so basically data provider is used to provide a, da a data set to certain test for example let's say there is a login page and for that login page there are certain test steps okay so test steps are like let's say open url then enter username enter password click on login button let's say we have different different sets of data like valid username password invalid username password or blank username password so these different different sets we can provide with the help of data provider so we can put that data into one of the excel sheet and we can provide that excel sheet as an input to your test okay so data provider helps us to do achieve this okay so what is the significance of at the rate data provider basically any test which takes data provider so just after this test we have to write the name of the method which is providing the data so let's suppose get data is the method who is providing the data to the test okay so at the rate you have to write like this at the rate test in front of it data provider is equal to get data okay so get data is the method which returns two dimensional object array and an annotation is written just above it at the rate data provider so this annotation at the rate data provider defines the method as a data provider right so the test identifies this is the method who is going to provide data to me okay so one question next question was how to explain a page object model okay so understand very clearly that while explaining page object model you have to clearly say that we have test different and we have object repository different right so actually kept the tests in some different package and we have kept all our object repository into a different package okay so what is object repository so object repository is a package wherein we put some classes right so those classes generally we keep one page per class so your project has different different web pages like login page add client and all that so we use a single class for each page okay so what do we write in that class so in that class we write the web elements either by using page factory or by using some other method but we define all the web elements in that class this is one thing one more thing is that we define the operative methods of those particular web elements right so operative method means what if it is text box then type operation if it is a button then there is click operation if it is a link there is again a click operation if it is a drop down then selection operation so like this web element and its operative method uh, that we write into the object repository and in that in the test section we just give a call to the method the corresponding method right so this is the heart of the page object model apart from this you can you can also talk about the utilities different utilities that you have used right what is the property file what is the purpose of the properties file how you have implemented it just explain the directory structure properly it's enough okay so this is how you can explain the page object model in an interview the next is what is hybrid model okay so you see hybrid model as the name suggests it is a combination of different models so most of the times page object model with data provider approach is actually mixed up together and most of the times the hybrid model is observed in this way that is the page object model with data driven approach right so i believe you know the page object model you know you know the data driven model right so if you just combine them means let's say you have different different pages uh, let's say one of the page uh, which actually takes certain data so you can 
have one excel sheet that will actually provide a data to it right so inside the test section you have a test wherein uh, which actually takes data from a data provider so this kind of structure is a hybrid model okay hope you understood answers of these questions and please share this with your friends and colleague and if you have still not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe by the way i am the author of this book it is available on amazon if you want you can get it the links i am giving you in the description and if you want to learn selenium with me selenium plus cucumber with java then for that also the details are given in the description contact on the numbers given in the description to know the details of the next batch thank you very much Come on.